All right, so I wanted to just chat with you about um, something that was uh, brought up to me, and I wanted to clear this about uh, clear clear this out because it's 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 kind of a it's a, cr- a crazy concept that I feel like people need to understand. So so as a as a musician, as as someone who's making music for people and you're trying to build fans and whatnot, it's interesting that um, people only want to try to online aim for specific uh fans in an area um that they can easily go get these fans themselves like all you have to do is go outside to get fans if you want them um and i noticed that when we're running these marketing campaigns people are like well i only want my fans to be in america well what they don't know is that it costs uh almost a dollar to two dollars per person to get american followers using standard marketing practices that we were using to drive traffic and so uh, essentially it would cost you about a thousand dollars to get a thousand followers and that's that's bananas and no one wants to pay that um but these followers obviously would be the ones that are outside that you can just go get for free so you're paying a thousand dollars because you're too lazy to go get these fans so if a person wants to go outside stand in front of a corner store with their instagram and their social media wide open and they're like hey guys uh follow me i do music and you sit there and do that then you can get it done for free so everyone's like oh well okay i just don't want a bunch of worldwide followers popping up on my screen with different names and i can't even understand what they're saying this is the part that i wanted to make the video about that part it really upsets me because um i've just got back from traveling the world i've traveled um, overseas and I was in Asia for um, maybe a year or so and something I noticed that even though they couldn't really um, speak the best version of English they could actually understand what we were saying perfectly fine and what's interesting is the radio when I was listening to the radio I would hear our music our American music either being played over there on the radio and these are songs that were obviously at least a year old or so but as i was staying there longer they would get newer and newer songs so i'm like wait a minute these guys are listening to our music and everywhere i went from thailand to china to uh everywhere i went there uh, south korea uh, philippines like all over there they were listening to our music i know they listen to our music in europe because i have people in europe that tell me that they heard my song as well and i just was like wow okay so if people are actually listening to this music overseas then why is it that fans i mean you know artists over here in america refuse to want to have these type of followers and fans the answer to me is because they're just dumb they don't know what they're talking about i'm the expert they're artists they don't have any idea where where or how any of this works i've been building my social media for 10 years and then you got some artist that comes in with you know, they only been online for six months and they're trying to outstage you and tell you what they think they know. It's interesting. Long story short, it costs too much to build an American fan base. I follow the marketing practices that the major movie theaters use, which is marketing overseas to build a buzz around the product to make sure that someone likes it somewhere. As establishing a cheap customer acquisition or listener acquisition for your music. So in other words, if you get, uh, say, a million fans in some cheap country, um, third country where it's really poor, but you get a million followers over there and they and they all have Spotify, then you can get a million spins. Now, I'm not saying that the million spins are going to get you a lot of money and that this is gaming the system, but this is better than buying fake followers and bank, you know, buying fake streams. Just get a million fans and tell them to listen to your song and you'll get a million plays. Why is that so hard and difficult to understand? So. I'm here to help you get those million followers. I'm here to help you get those million plays. But my method is to build your fan base up. Everyone else's method is to try to figure out some other kind of way to do it. Oh, I'll hop on playlists. I'll hop on this. I'll hop on that. I say the answer is to go get the fans. Go straight to the fans, straight to the customer with the product. You got the product, take it straight there. Take it straight to the customer. Why have an in-between? Why why create a situation where you have a mediator or someone in-between who is always charging you for to come up that's what i'm trying to avoid guys i don't i don't want to have you constantly spending all your money and wheels trying to get on magazines blogs all these different things those are great but they help a lot better to amplify what you already have so if you have 
if you have a, a brand and you have music and you have a million trillion fans all over the world, you're going to have a lot of spins and it's going to resonate. And once that money comes in, you can use that money to then build your fan base in America. I just want to talk about that. I hope this video is informative. Um, just kind of made me upset because a couple artists said some things they didn't they didn't know what they were talking about. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, leave your comment. Let me know what you think. All right.